Thank you, Ville. Good morning, everyone, and good Valentine's Day, day for everyone. Uh, my name is Teppo Manninen, and I come from company Kaverion, and we are the uh, provider for this, this kind of energy efficiency projects. And now I'm going to tell about uh, mm, this EPC and ESCO projects in, in a public sector. We do that also in private sectors. And I have, I have been working with those projects uh, 12 years. And for the public sector, I know in Finland, uh, maybe most of projects and the competitions what the cities have done in in last 10, 12 years. And first I talk about a little bit about the history, what we have done here in Finland. And then I, I show you uh, two different models, what we have done lately. And then a little bit about the challenges and possibilities and future outlook for those projects. And this is a little bit tricky one, uh, the names ESCO and EPC. Uh, basically, the ESCO is the energy service company. But in Finland, we say ESCO service, ESCO projects. Uh, at least we have done that in, in last 20 years. But then we have a EPC, energy performance contracting. And that is, I, I think, more about the idea of the, the contract and, and the thing what's, what's going on. Anyway, I, I don't know how is it in, in other countries, but we can talk about that later. Yes, and, and those we have done in, in Finland, ESCO projects, typically it, it has been just a one building and one single single uh, project. And those we have done uh, last 20, 25 years. And maybe the market has been last 10 years uh, one or two million euros per every year. And, but now maybe last two years is getting a little bit bigger. And also the way of doing is more like uh, EPC projects, what we have seen, they, they have been done those, those things in Sweden, where there is uh, more than just one building in each project. And now I think we, we are discussing about the EPC projects here in Finland, it's more, more than just one building. Um, and in, in the history that was also done like this, that there was a customer has, has planned the main idea already and the uh, providers just give the uh, offer to that already made plans. Now it's, it's more like that the providers are uh, planning and, and taking all the things what, what we can find, what is energy efficiency in the, in the buildings. And energy performance contracting, we see nowadays it's more, more like a building development project. And, and we can, with the customer, make, make a kind of development projects where we can can get energy savings and with those savings we can we can finance the projects that is the main point but anyway there is a more la, more the development point of view and the other you view is to reduce the need of repairs so in those projects we are modern science and and making uh, 
new technology to the buildings and with that investment we can get the, get the energy savings and of course there is the point point of view energy efficiency and, and the provider can can give the guarantee that we can uh, invest the, the project I think this is quite quite uh, familiar for everyone uh, three phases uh, planning and implementation and follow-up and in the follow-up phase there is a that guarantee for the energy use and we have studied a little bit what they they have done it in in Sweden and there uh, has a big projects in some cities where might be uh, the size of the project is between 10 or 30 million euros and there might be 50 or 100 buildings in the same projects and in the first phase is, is the planning phase where the all plannings are done together and after that there's an agreement and, and done the execution for the next two, three years. And Finland, uh, the sites of the uh, projects are, are not so big. Maybe two last projects is about four or five million euros. And it, it goes like that. Uh, uh, in every year it's only 1 million euro, euros project uh, and there is one execution for that and then we are going to plan the next year's project we are not, not planning the whole thing right away and in Finland recent 2-3 years we have a two different type type of models. Uh, the history of the models has, has been come that the uh, energy experts of the cities has done the papers <coughs> and the competition models. One of those are done in, in from the city of Vanta. They have done it twice, and city of Tampere copied this model. It's quite Basically, it's quite simple. Uh, the, there is a 10 or 15 buildings, and the size of the project is 1.5 million euros. And in the competition, uh, the best savings will win. That's the model. Quite quite easy for the for the customer, but maybe not not so good for the deliver and there you had to try to get the easiest way to save save and that is not maybe not the best for the results if you are thinking about the development thing of you and the other model is the model what the city of Jyväskylä and Oulu has has used that is more like a partnership deal. Uh, in the competition, there is a three, four building, and it's the solid price, fixed price for for those buildings, and and uh, of course energy saving guarantee for those those buildings, and after that, the winner. Uh, can start the planning phase to the other buildings. Uh, this is the calendar, how how it goes in in Oulu Oulu case uh, about one year ago. Uh, this is also uh, quite easy to copy because 
city of Jyväskylä energy expert has done all the papers, all the contracts and everything. So uh, energy expert from Oulu, uh, they had a meeting with the Jyväskylä experts and, and so uh, both of them are, are willing <coughs> to give the papers to other, other cities. So it's easy to copy, just change the name of the city and, and some dates and some, some buildings and, and just it's ready, ready to go. Uh, and this, this uh, case, uh, first phase is the enrollment. Uh, it's certain kind of qualification where it's aimed to aim to get uh, two, uh, uh, three, three best providers is going to the buildings. And after that is a ne negotiation and then it's a final uh, offering and decision. And challenges and possibilities. Bad news in the history was that there was a lack of good models in competition and there was uh, some some legal reclamations and uh, now the good news are that we have uh, uh, two different models which are easy to copy to other cities we have also models models what we have studied in sweden if we have uh, in finland uh, courage enough uh, city who want to take uh, 10 or 30 million euros projects in, in, in one time. Anyway, maybe the challenge is, is, is we see the market is not so big yet. Uh, may, maybe the challenge is that the cities are, n are willing to go with the old traditional models. And they are not, not looking, looking yet they're not too courage to go to new one. And anyway, we can see that there's uh, interest. Interest is in increasing in, in public sector and also in private sectors. And I think many cities are in that situation. They, they have done a lot of reports and plans and calculations what the possibilities are. And now I think, think it's moved to make the investments. And I think uh, here in Caverion we have uh, more than 3 million euros revenue. And uh, every year the bigger portion of that is somehow related to energy efficiency services. And I think we can compare this kind of models a little bit about the new buildings, uh, new buildings, uh, hmm, life, cycle, life cycle solutions, uh, kind of, I don't know what, is public partnership where the, in Finnish it's Elinkaari Hanke, <laughs> I don't know what, what is in, in English, but uh, yeah, yeah, because that market has developed very, very well. It's, uh, I think, maybe 30, 50 million euros per every year. Um, I think the main idea is the same. Uh, PPP is for the new buildings, and this model is the buildings what we still have. Thanks. Thank you, Teppo. <laughs> Any questions or comments to Teppo? Uh, hi. Hello. Uh, Dinders Renesko from uh, Latvia Esco company. I just want to clarify, it is uh, financed by, by clients, so it means that municipality is financing everything. And you are, as an ESCO, just delivering the guarantees and, and the best price and optimization for technology. Yes, yes. Is it, is it so? Okay. Yes. Uh, 
something about the financing, the, uh, this Vanta and Jyväskylä, they, of course, they get the uh, support from the government, 25 percent, between 20 and 25, and the rest of those, uh, there is a uh, financing company. So anyway, yeah. anyway the, the Cameron yeah. is not like uh, yeah, not financing everything, yeah. uh, they just agreed with yeah. the municipality yeah. that we will yeah. do this and that's that. True. And, and yeah, in Finland that's that's how it, okay. how it goes, there's uh, usually always the third yeah. bank, bank or third part who is yeah. doing the financing thing. Yeah. And the city of Oulu, they use their own budget money for this. The Every year there is a one million euros, and they. For me, it was just question this, that yeah, Cameron is not going to bank to take the loan and finance the project, and then getting back the so it's financed yeah. by the municipality. So it's the question to municipality how they will get this money. So com yeah. combining funds, yeah. budget, etc. So okay. Anyway, we can we can help. We have a, we know the instruments, and we help. We can do it together. Anders Busset, the Swedish Energy Agency. Uh, I have, um, well, we have a lot of uh, sharing experiences between Sweden and Finland, but, but uh, I'd like to know a little bit more about the public procurement process in Finland and the evaluation criteria. You stated that. Mm -hmm. uh, That's well, a tricky one. The, the one who promised <laughs> the, the, the best savings will, will get the, the deal. And uh, yeah, we, we had that, well, we have had that in Sweden as well. <coughs> but it, sort of developed, uh, as uh, uh, bluntly put, uh, biggest liar contest for, well, whoever <laughs> gives the, the best uh, promise on, on savings will also get the, the deal. And do you s how do you see the public procurement process here in, in Finland? Yes, that is a tricky one. Uh, it, that was uh, only in the model, model in, in city city of Vanta, but in this uh, Jyväskylä and all models, uh, there is uh, different elements, uh, some quality elements, and then is some, there is some unit price list for general mm -hmm. agreement, maybe some price for this, uh, uh, the control phase, and some price, <coughs> price um, maybe for the planning, and some unit price for doing some some works, <laughs> ventilation and, and everything. There's different prices, but also that case there was a quite big big portion of the energy savings for these three or four buildings what are here in the first first uh, place in, in competition. Mm. But anyway, I think it's, it's in all, all public, public uh, <laughs> pur uh, purchase. <laughs> the same, same problem that you have to find the best uh, Value yeah, 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 yeah. You had to check the quality and you had to check the good price and and here we have also the energy efficiency and not the easy one but but the main target is to get best best provider which is uh no know how is is good enough and and the cost efficiency is is good enough it's not not easy but anyway we have a some models and and the result has been quite good i think thank you thank you Teppo. now it's time to move on